Hi, this is Pastor Coy Sampson with the Mace Road Church. Welcome to Psalms 365.1, where we will be praying through the book of Psalms one day at a time, asking God to shape our lives to the truth of Scripture in Christ Jesus, devoting ourselves to the heart of God as revealed to the psalmist by Holy Spirit, and praying the Holy Scriptures back to our Father in Heaven. Hello, welcome to day 208 of Psalm 365.1. Today we are in Psalm chapter 91, verses 1 through 8. Now, Psalm chapter 91, I've heard a lot of people say is their favorite psalm. It is a psalm of God's protection and God's watching over us. It's a prayer that we can pray when we are feeling anxious or afraid or nervous, or we just want to feel God's presence in our life. And so it starts out with saying in verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And so numerous songs and, and worship songs have been written on this. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And uh, in my mind, it comes, uh, what makes me, what this makes me think of is when you're a kid and you uh, build a, a fort with blankets on the couch and stack up the cushions and, and you can hide in there and just that sense of feeling safe and feeling hidden. And I just remember being a kid, just being excited about being hidden in this secret place, in this safe place. Um, and well, if you put a box fan up and you put a sheet over it and you blow it up and, and you're hidden in, inside the sheet that's blown up by the box fan and it's kind of your little hiding place, it's a secret place. Well, it's, it's like that. It's that God's presence surrounds you and envelops you and is over you. This is the secret place that he's talking about that his presence surrounds and encompasses and protects you and you dwell under the shadow of the Almighty. That hiding place means a covering. It means a shelter, a covering that's over you. And so I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. And so just having that feeling of security and safety, but also in that secret place is where we come in and we spend time with our God, with our Savior, <clears throat> with the Lord of all. We can go into that secret place and have intimate, personal time with Him. Imagine uh, someone who's famous or someone who you really look up to or a president or anything like that, having one-on-one, face-to-face -on -one, -face time with them and how special that would be and rare, extremely rare, probably never happen. But for us, we get to have face-to-face, -face, intimate, one-on-one -on -one time with the God of all the universe. We can enter into that secret place at any time, into that place where it's us and Him alone, and He's covering us with His presence. It says, He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. Now think of Christ in Jerusalem. He says, O Jerusalem, how I've longed to gather you as a mother hen gathers her chicks and hides them in the safety under her wings. And that's what he's talking about here in Psalm 91 and verse 4. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. It will be our shelter from the enemy. It says, His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Now, buckler, I thought, meant like a buckle that would secure you, like a, a belt buckle or a strap that you could get strapped in and, and secured into. No, a buckler is a small shield that they would wear on their hand. It would almost be like... A little bit the size of your Bible like it would it would be a shield that was small enough that you could fit in your hand and it would protect you from uh, darts or, uh, or arrows or any kind of projectile um, but also in a sword fight you could you could use it but it was also an offensive thing <laughs> almost like brass knuckles they would use these bucklers as a offensive weapon also and it says that his truth shall be your shield and buckler that you can fight off the enemy with, that we fight the enemy by the truth of God, that we resist the enemy, he'll flee from us, and we flee from temptation. But with this buckler of truth, we can protect ourselves from the enemy, but also brass knuckles, you give the guy a black eye, you can, you can do some offensive work with the truth of God. And this is the example that Christ gives us also. He says, you should not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, and there's a prayer um, called the Compline Prayer. It's an evening prayer. 
It says, Lord, protect us while we are awake and watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep we will rest in his peace. Father God, help us as we pray through this Psalm 91 just to see that secret place in our own life, to experience that secret place where we come under the shadow of the Almighty, that you hide us under the shelter of your wings, that your truth is our shield and our buckler, that we can defend ourselves and we can fight against the enemy. We can fight against the lies of this world. We can fight against the deception in ourselves, that we will come into alignment with your word and your protection and your providence over us. As we pray, Psalm 91 verses 1 through 8. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, and my God, and Him I will trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. He shall be, His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right side, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you shall look and see the recompense and reward of the wicked. Father God, we do give you praise. And we pray as we pray along with this psalm that you would be our shield, our protection, our comfort, and our secret place. Protect us, Lord, as we are awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in your peace. And come, Lord, Prince of Peace, we give you praise. We love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I love you. Jesus loves you. Love one another. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.